Darlene Arviso's truck route takes her to some of the most remote and isolated people in America. She is their link to the world outside, her payload literally a lifeline. The kids would be yelling, running to the water truck when I'm coming up to their house. She's known as the water lady in a region where 40% of residents have no access to running water. Many live in such extreme poverty they can't even afford large containers. No, Often Darlene Arviso delivers more than just water. Working with her church and other charities, she helped this family at the onset of last winter. I brought them food. I saw the, the trailer, the small one. We gave out some blankets, boards to cover the window. That time it was snowing. So, so it gets pretty cold yes, up here. Yes, it gets very cold. A few miles away, Arviso has a new customer. Tina Vicente returned to her family's ancestral land from a trailer park she'd rented in the town of Thiru, New Mexico. Despite the harsh conditions, she wanted to raise her five children, including six-month-old twin girls, on the Navajo reservation. I wanted to have my children have more open space for them to run around outside. What they gave up are two of life's most basic amenities, electricity and running water. Water they use in their new home is carried in from Vicente's mother's home, a mile down the road at the other end of their homestead. Even using the toilet involves a trip to grandma's house. I'm planning to look into getting a porta potty or a porta outhouse. As for the shower and the bath, I can't really do anything unless I have a main water line until I have a septic service and all of that. But like I said, I can't get that. Due to a long waiting list, getting connected to the main water line could take up to 15 years, and it will cost more than $12,000. Although Vicente works full-time, piped-in water is a luxury she cannot afford. For a long time, um, we've told those people, just wait, infrastructure will catch up with you. Well, infrastructure is not coming. George McGraw founded a group called Dig Deep that used to work on water projects in Africa, but is now directing its efforts to help some of the two million people in this country, like the Basenti family, who lack access to clean water and sanitation. But when the backhoe is active, everyone needs to have a hard hat on. If you that includes 18,000 homes we'll... in the Navajo Nation. Wells are not an option for most homeowners. They're deep, expensive, and there's no guarantee of clean water. A lack of clean water in the United States does exactly the same thing to families as it does around the world. It impacts their health, their ability to hold down a job, to get an education, their ability to spend time with their kids, to play, to have a happy life. Dig Deep's solution is an off-grid system that don't require a utility hookup. Tina Vicente's is one of nearly 300 homes being fitted with large water storage systems and solar-powered pumps to bring drinking water directly into the home. It's gonna be good because we don't have to haul water. We'll have it here. It'll allow us to give the girls a bath, you know, in the sink because they're still small and it'll allow good drinking water. As more of these 1,200 gallon cisterns are installed, there's a need for a more convenient water source. So Dig Deep is looking for spots to drill more community wells like this one it's a costly and time-consuming process. The first task when water comes out of this hole is to make sure that it's free of contaminants. Uranium from old mines is a common one. If it checks out as clean, this well will bring huge savings for hundreds of families who come from miles around here. On average, residents of the Navajo Reservation pay 13 cents for a gallon of water. That is 72 times what a typical ratepayer pays in suburban Arizona or New Mexico. We spend a lot of our time out here working on water projects, but a lot more time in our office in Los Angeles, for instance, trying to convince everybody in America they should pay attention to this problem, care about it, and want to do something about it. Last year, Dig Deep did manage to convince some nearby rotary clubs, which pledged some $75,000, which will fund about 18 installations like this one in Tina Vicente's home. 
Building the International has long been involved in clean water projects around the world, but Jim Bissonette of Scottsdale, Arizona, said they never imagined doing this work in their own backyard. It's kind of a shock when you think that people in the United States don't have running water. We're going to change the lives of this family dramatically from the water they're carrying in pickle jars to their house to actually having running water, and that's a, that's a huge shift for them. They'll have a few more small luxuries with the new rooftop solar panel. It will drive the water pump and also some basic LED lighting. Lights! <laughs> when we have power. Projects like these also help train and provide work that can keep local talent local. 23-year-old Annie Begay's skills could fetch a job anywhere in America, but she's thrilled to be able to stay in the place she calls home. You get to know the family before we put in these systems. You get to know a little bit of their background, and it's where I grew up, so it's, it's a good feeling knowing that you're helping where you grew up. Finally, at the end of a long day, the water lady arrived for her big delivery, and Annie Begay tightened the last screws. It was time to gather around the sink for an impromptu celebration as Tina Besenti turned on the faucet. A mundane and giant leap for this family into the modern world that many of her neighbors are still waiting to join. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Fred DeSam Lazaro in the Navajo Nation.